welcome back to my channel, it's me Leanne. If you're new here, then you won't be aware of this, but I am only at heart. And I love collecting records, and I have a playlist you can go watch from the very start of all my records to now. I got some new ones. I had actually not gone shopping for records in a while, which means we're going soon. Crap. It's gonna get really repetitive. You're gonna hear me say, I love this, I love this, I love this. I'm not gonna buy something I don't love. That's what I understand when people say, oh my gosh, you say the same thing. Why would I spend money on something I don't like? If I don't like it, it's going back. I'm not gonna say prices of records only because one, I don't remember. Two, different shops will hype up different ones and online don't even get me started on online ones because they get jacked up super high. So I'm not gonna say prices because it's not gonna be the same price if you go ahead and find it. Let's just get on with this video. The first three records I'll be showing you in a second is one that my mom actually decided to surprise me with. Like I got home, she messaged me when school ended. She's like, I got a little gift for you. And then she sent me pictures and I didn't get them until she had already picked me up. So then I got into the car and she just had three records for me. And I was like, that's so sweet. Cause honestly, the ones that she got me are so good. The first album I have is the Private Dancer album from Tina Turner. One of the reasons why my mom purchased this is because of this one specific song in this album, which if you've never heard it, which I'm pretty sure you have, just go look it up, you'll know the second you hear it. It's called What's Love Got To Do With It? And look at her, look, she posing and she's like, oh girl, about to slay these people. You work, ma, you work. I love it. The next one. First of all, I like to go hunting for records. Like I actually like to go to antique shops and random like little bits and bobs that have like old records that have been used. And the fact that my mom got me this certain album boggles me. I would have never found this album. You will have some troubles looking for this if you go hunting as well as me. She got me the Purple Rain album from Prince. How? How did you find this? This has so many good songs. This is probably one of his like best once okay obviously that's purple rain when doves cry such an amazing album i also just like the look of it i like how i like these like vintagey looking like photos of flowers all over it if this doesn't prove to you how amazing my mom is then i don't know what will just know thank you again i love it this next one i honestly am so i would have been fine with just this one but she got me those two and that made me even happier this person is hard af to find great album. It's the Thriller album from Michael Jackson. If you didn't understand what I just said, it's the Thriller album from Michael Jackson and this one opens up like the Jackson 5 one I showed you previously. Like, this guy has a tiger on his leg. Who are you? Who are you? Who, who does this? It, he is so extra. Look, he made his album huge just so he can have a tiger on his leg. You extra. It has my favorite songs on here. It has Aussie Thriller, it has Billie Jean. I love the like um, the design overall. Like it has like kind of like sloppy like cursive writing, and it kind of has like, a cool color fade in the background of the lettering. Thank you. I love it. The next three I have includes now. There was no rhyme or reason into me purchasing this album. Why did I buy it? I don't know. But this is the the Great Muppet Caper album soundtrack, whatever you want to call it. And obviously, it's the Muppets and. I only bought it because it made me laugh so hard. Whenever I hear the Muppets sing, I die of laughter because Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy just crack me up. I don't know why. I think it's just so ridiculous. And I was like, you're coming home with me. And I was like, are you serious? I was like, yep. Mm -hmm. It's happening. I love it. The next one, Culture Club album. This is with Boy Dover Johnson. If you don't know that, then I don't know you. Go flying. This is the Kissing to the Clever album, I suppose. Um, the one song that really got me to buy it. Everyone's heard Do you really want to find it? Plays in my favorite movie, The Wedding Singer. Just because of that, I was like, <laughs> buying it. There's other amazing songs on here as well, so you definitely go ahead and check it out. I like it. And I'll be back. I also have the rest of them in there. The next one I have. <laughs> me and my mom are trying so hard to laugh because the cover is just ridiculous. And that was one of the reasons why I was like, you're coming home with me. It's Twisted Sister. Makeup goals. Tutorial coming soon. This is the Stay Hungry album, by the way. This is just, I don't know. There's a lot of good songs in here as well. The song on here, there's always one song from each album that I'm gonna point out to you just because you might know it. It's the song called I Wanna Rock. I Wanna Rock. <laughs> that, that song. We're not gonna take it also on here. This is a cool album. I'm glad I purchased it. I like it.
That is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to click that beautiful subscribe button down below and become a part of my family because I love you guys so much. If you want to see more record collections updates, well, let me know. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below as to what record is your favorite or just album in general because I want to find new music. I'll see you guys next time on my channel, which is... I don't know. And until then, adios.